Today I'm here to do something really daring. I'm gonna talk about why I hate Adopt Me with all of my heart. If you don't hate Adopt Me, after you watch this video, you probably will because I'm gonna talk about a lot of different things that people don't think about. If you love Adopt Me, this might be a bad video for you to watch. You're probably gonna hate me. So to start off, I'm actually gonna join Adopt Me. I really don't wanna do this at all. I don't wanna play this, but I'm gonna join it. So when you first join, you get this basic music ding, 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 ding. but there's nothing wrong with that right I mean kids play this game this is good music to kids it makes them happy you get to choose between a baby or a parent uh, for this video we're gonna click baby I don't know why look at all this stuff popping up that's already like look what four different things just popped up also look at my character my character looks stupid though I hate when I join games my character looks like this you might be asking why are you in a uh, penthouse big sweet if you hate this game I spent money on this, yes. How dare you? This is literally my house, and I say that I hate this game, but but let me let me explain. So Adopt Me is not even really a game. It's more like an online shop. Like you join in, it pops up with, do you wanna buy this? Do you wanna buy that? Oh, your your peacock is is tired. Oh. Do you wanna pay this much money to get some serum that your peacock will never be tired? They're trying to sell you something, and that's what a lot of Roblox games are. They try to sell you stuff. You go to the shop and you can pay f something, you can you can pay 50 Robux to sell cotton candy to your friend. You can pay a 250 to unlock a car. You can buy candy. You can buy a ton of things. The other thing I hate about this game is that there's nothing to do. This is such a boring world. It's literally filled with other people's houses. Let, let's just go into this person's house, for example. So I'm in this girl's house. Uh, she probably paid like 20 bucks for this house, which is another problem. You have to pay for almost everything in this game. I don't have anything wrong with games where you have to pay, but this game is basically pay to play. And look, if this girl paid this much money for this house, the upstairs should be nice. Look at this upstairs. You ready? What is this? You might be saying, DJ, there's plenty of stuff to do in Adopt Me. You can talk to people. You can talk to people in any other game. I think the main problem with this game is that the developers, they know that eight-year-olds are going to be playing it. So they made it a shop. It's an online shop. That's what this game is. There's nothing rewarding about this game. My peacock, huh? since I haven't played this game in two months, it's dirty. <laughs> My peacock is literally dirty. Oh, and when you click on your peacock, it says, oh, ride. Okay, bet. I'm going to ride my peacock. Oh, I have to pay for that. No, thanks. I just got ran over while I'm speaking. That's another problem with this game. The game is so basic where like, okay, if your peacock is dirty, go take a shower at home and it leads you to your house. And by doing simple tasks, you get these bucks. And with those bucks, you can upgrade your animals like there's nothing wrong with that but the problem comes in whenever you get super nice animals so another thing is once you spend your mom's money on getting like a new dog in this game you can trade with people and mostly this game is filled with like eight-year-olds you know like if i read the chat somebody literally said i got scammed on my first pet i don't have any pets but i can give you a toy little kids are saying that they got scammed and i'm pretty sure this game has not done anything about it i think this is the most notorious roblox game for having kids get scammed i'm pretty sure i've never heard more about scams until i played this game now, I've never got scammed, I don't think, because I'm not a six-year-old kid, you know what I mean? And I didn't spend 30 bucks on my mom's credit card. And like I said before, you might be saying, No, Adopt Me is cool. You get to get pets, and then you get to talk to people, and you get to roleplay. You can roleplay in any other game on the internet. You can talk to people on any other Roblox game. I also don't like how this game is looked at as like one of the most popular Roblox games. When I first started playing Roblox, the only thing I knew about Roblox was like Adopt Me and like all these like little kid games. This isn't Roblox to me. There are so many different and better games on Roblox in my opinion than this. This game is literally people running around trying to get better pets, but they will never be as good as the people who spend money on pets. You can spend $100 and have super, super cool pets in this game. But if you never spend money, you'll never be as good as anybody else. And that's that's a huge problem with games nowadays. They're all pay to win, pay to be good. I think up here is like the hangout spot for a bunch of people. Yeah, people just hang out here, they role play. It's just weird. 
This girl's name is I Need Free Pets. What if I give her uh, a peacock? Bruh. I really need to change my character. What the heck? This girl said DJ loves Turbo. Can I join your family? I just invited this Lisa girl to my family. I've never even tried inviting people to my family. I don't even know what that does. What does that do? I guess inviting people to my family doesn't really do much. Somebody wants to trade with me. Okay, are they gonna are they gonna scam me? What do they want? You want my dog? Also, I will say this game is a lot better than I think it used to be. I feel like it used to be even worse. You can become a parent. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? For this game to be one of the top rated, most top played games, this game is very shallow. Because if you want a super nice house, if you want a super nice animal, if you want premium faces, if you want your home to glow, if you want to sell hot dogs at a barbecue stand, you have to pay money. It sucks that the, the people who made this game know that the people playing are young and they know that they have access to their mom's credit card. They don't make the game more fun, they just add in new stuff to pay for, which is a huge problem. For people who don't have money, this game is not that fun. For people who have money, the game is fun because say you use your mom's credit card. Ooh, I can adopt a wonderful royal palace spaniel? You click buy and then you have a dog. And then somebody else has a cool dog that you like. So you go up to them, you trade and you get scammed. There's so many better games on Roblox where you can role play. I'm not even gonna say Welcome to Bloxburg or Brookhaven is better, but they kinda are. Go role play in Brookhaven. Adopt Me is literally, you spend money, you get pets, and you stand around. You clean your pet. How does that have 192,000 players? That's just what I think. That's just my opinion. And this was another episode of DJ Speaks. I want to know what you think about Adopt Me. Tell me the pros and the cons to the game down below. And tell me if I don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, I just want to know. But this is just my opinion on what this game is. I feel like the game's trash. I think it's overrated. There's not much to do. But let me know what you think about it. Click right here to watch more DJ Speaks. This is where I just speak on stuff that interests me. I talk about stuff I hate. I talk about stuff I like. I just talk. It's kind of fun, I guess. Or click right here if you want to subscribe to my stupid channel.